you have been reserved for the king's pleasure. Therefore, the king's portion is reserved for you. A prepared position awaits you with the king of kings sitting at the head of the table. He desires that you sup with him in the presence of your enemies. By accepting his personal invitation, your needs are met, the desires of your heart fulfilled, and to top it off, you will receive the exceeding abundance above all you can ask for or even think of. Imagine that. The more you understand the king's heart, without a shadow of a doubt, you will begin to make more room for heaven's treasures. Welcome to King's Portion. This is Catherine Joy Foster. And the theme of our program today is the Endless Covenant Guarantee. And this is part two. We're going to look in Leviticus, the 26th chapter, and the 8th through the 10th verses in the Amplified Bible. And this is the classic edition. And it reads, five of you shall chase a hundred and a hundred of you shall put 10,000 to flight. Your enemies will fall before you by the sword. For I will be leaning toward you with favor and regard for you, rendering you fruitful, multiplying you and establishing and ratifying my covenant with you. And you shall eat the abundant old store of produce long kept and clear out the old to make room for the new. What God is showing us is that his favor is not fair. He is leaning toward you. He loves everyone. But what sets us apart from anyone else is our favor because of our obedience. Now, God proved to Abraham that he indeed would be faithful to fill his promises to him. So it was easy for Abraham to believe every word God had spoken to him. God simply showed himself to be irresistible to Abraham because the strength of his covenant was backed up by the Lord himself. I'll be right back after this message from our sponsor. Plan to stay tuned for the entire program today. The Catherine Joy Foster Music Ministries is a 21st century multimedia marketplace ministry. In your discovery, you will find the power of God present to go where you are to take you where Jesus is, raising you up, repairing you, restoring you so that you can be as Jesus is in this world. Now available for workshops, banquets, conferences, webinars, concerts, prayer meetings. You can call area code 216-486-8615, extension 1. Again, that's area code 216-486-8615, extension 1. Proud to be an advertiser for King's Portion Web Radio. Welcome back to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is the Endless Covenant Guarantee. Now, God proved to Abraham that he indeed would be faithful to fulfill his promises to him. So it was easy for Abraham to believe every word that God spoke to him. God simply showed himself to be irresistible because it was based on the strength of his covenant, which was backed up by the Lord himself. We're going to look in Romans, the fourth chapter, the 18th through the 21st verses. And this will show us the effect Fact of Abraham's belief in God. And it says, Who against hope believed in hope that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be. And being not weak in faith, but he considered himself not his own body now dead when he was about a hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb. He stacked at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. So you're seeing here, this was in a hopeless situation. Abraham knew that he before could conceive, but Sarah never gave birth. She's always been barren. And so he says, even though this is an impossible situation to me, I'm not going to go back and forth saying, yes, I'm going to have a child. No, I'm not going to have a child. Yes, I'm going to have a child. No, I'm not going to have a child. 
but his faith was in his covenant with God. So he was fully persuaded. It didn't mean he had to become persuaded. He was just fully persuaded. He knew that whatever God promised, he was going to be able to perform. That God was going to be able to be upon Abraham and Sarah and the anointing removed every burden, disturbing yoke where that baby was going to come to pass. Now let's look in Isaiah, the 55th chapter, the 10th and 11th verses, because it shows here what Abraham was believing. He says, for as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven returneth not thither, but watereth the earth and maketh it bring forth in bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So this is God saying, there's no word that God speak that is ever impossible. It's never without power. It's never without fulfillment of his promise because it'll never come back empty. On our program today, you can enjoy the music of Elvin Frazier. Now let's welcome him as he sings searching because if you're searching from God you will find him he's asking you receive seeking you shall find and knock on the door shall be open unto you let's hear Alvin Visit us on the web at 
blog.kingsportionlive.com. That's blog.kingsportionlive.com. Thanks for staying tuned to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is the Endless Covenant Guarantee. God proved to Abraham that he indeed would be faithful to fulfill his promises to him so that it was easy for Abraham to believe every word God had spoken to him. God simply showed himself as irresistible because the strength of his covenant was backed up by the Lord himself. We're going to look in Genesis, the 21st chapter, the second through the fourth verses, and it reads, For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born to him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. And Abraham circumcised his son Isaac, being eight days old, as God had commanded him. And Abraham was a hundred years old when his son Isaac was born unto him. And Sarah said, God has made me to laugh, so that all that hear will laugh with me. I'm going to also read Genesis, the 17th chapter the 18th through the 22nd verses, and it reads, And Abraham said unto God, Oh, that Ishmael might live before thee. And God said, Sarah thy wife shall bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac, and I will establish my covenant with him for an everlasting covenant, and with his seed after him. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee, Behold, I have blessed him, and I will make him fruitful, and, he, and will multiply him exceedingly. Twelve princes shall he beget, and I will make him a great nation. But my covenant will I establish with Isaac, which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. And he left off talking with him, and God went up from Abraham. So you see the first verses that are read were showing, yes, God fulfilled his promise to Abraham and Sarah. And then the second set of verses was showing that God says, I'm not going to leave anything out. Even though Ishmael looked like what you birthed by yourself, you and Sarah concocted. He says, I'm going to cover him. He is not the covenant promise. I'm still going to cover him. I'm going to cover your mistake. I'm going to cover your shortcoming. I'm going to cover your sin. But I'm still going to fulfill my covenant to you. And that was based on his covenant. So the same thing that he granted Abraham, the impossible being fulfilled, is the same thing God will give to you. A promise that you can lean on knowing this, God's love never fails. So his works only express his heart. I'll be right back after this message from my sponsor. I was just standing there basking in the sun and all of a sudden I was soaking wet. There wasn't a sign in the sky. So I was unprepared without an umbrella. But in the end, it just didn't matter. I loved every minute of it. I knew I was living under open heavens. It really does give new meaning to being overtaken by blessing. Not a dry spot. This is Fran the Fan of H-D-O-R. Uh-oh, here comes the the rain again. You've been listening to King's Portion Live with web host Catherine Joy Foster. Thanks for staying tuned to King's Portion. Again, the theme of our program today is Endless Covenant Guarantee. Know this that God proved to Abraham that he indeed would be faithful to fulfill his promises to him so that it was easy for Abraham to believe every word that God has spoken to him, God simply showed himself as irresistible because the strength of his covenant was based and backed up by the Lord himself. And the same thing he did for Abraham, he'll do for you. Let's look in Genesis, the 15th chapter, the fourth through the sixth verses. And it reads, And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, 
This shall not be your heir when he's talking about Ishmael, but he that will come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look now, behold the heavens and tell the stars if thou be able to number them. And he said to him, So shall thy be, so shall thy seed be. And he believed in the Lord and it counted to him for righteousness. Now let's also look in Genesis the 22nd chapter, the 16th through the 18th verses and to read, and said, by myself I've sworn, saith the Lord, for because I have done this thing and have not withheld thy son, thine only son, that in blessing I will bless thee, and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of the heaven, and as the sand which is upon the seashore, and thy seed shall possess the gate of his enemies. And in thy seed shall all the nations of the earth be blessed because thou have obeyed my voice. So you see these two sets of verses show the effect of Abraham believing in God and taking God at his word. Now let's look at the cause of all this happening. In Psalm, the 25th division, the 14th verse, the Amplified Version, the Classic Edition reads, The secret of the sweet, satisfied companionship of the Lord have they who fear, revere, and worship him. And he should show him his covenant and reveal to him its deep inner meaning. So you can see that when God was showing Abraham the stars and the sand, he was giving him a word picture of just how big God saw him. We have to know that we have a election of God and we have a calling of God. And when we fulfill those, we'll be fulfilling our part of the covenant with God. Because the covenant goes two ways. God wants to fulfill his part of the covenant, but he also desires that we fulfill our part. And even in our own weaknesses, we can because we are depending on God's strength, God's mercy, God's favor, God's grace. Because it is his grace that raises the barrier. On our program today, you're going to enjoy the music of Alvin Frazier. Now let's welcome him as he sings The Calling. And I'll be right back. Many of us struggle with the call from God. I know some of us may not be living a life that we consider to be pleasing to God, and He knows it. But when there's a calling upon your life, it just is what it is. So here's a song to encourage you if you're going through that battle and running from God. Just listen. For so long you've been running But now you've reached the end of the road so you feel it burning, yeah. Why don't you let it take control? You keep running from the corner. You keep running. Now tell me where are you gonna run? Where are you gonna run? But you know run? the Lord has a plan for you. You God has a plan. But you keep running from the corner. You keep tell running. Tell me where are you gonna run? Why do you run? God has a perfect way. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Most of your life you've been trying to fight it mm -hmm. But it is a fight that you cannot win mm -hmm. So renew your will so that your purpose can be revealed Imagine living life feeling fulfilled You keep on Thank you. 
tuned to the program today which bears a theme the endless covenant guarantee god proved to abraham that he indeed would be faithful to fulfill all of his promise to him so that it was easy for abraham not only to believe but to receive every word god has spoken to him see god simply showed himself as irresistible because the strength of his covenant was backed up by the lord himself we're going to look in Hebrews 11th chapter, the 17th through the 19th verses. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, offered up Isaac. And he that had received the promise offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called, accounting that God was able to raise him up even from the dead, from whence also he received him in a figure. So you can see here that Abraham not only believed God, but received him. We receive the promise of God with our mouth. And when we keep it received, then we're going to receive it. Now, what he also saw, he saw a picture that God already said to sacrifice him. So in his mind, God had already saw him as dead. But then Abraham saw, so okay, well, if I have to sacrifice him, that God was going to raise him up. So in the picture of Abraham's subconscious mind, he saw Isaac raised from the dead because God kept saying over and over to Abraham that Isaac was the heir and his heir. Now let's look in Genesis, the 22nd chapter, the first through the third verses. And it said, and it came to pass that after these things that God did tempt Abraham and said to him, Abraham, and he said, behold, here I am. And he said, take now thy son, thine only son, Isaac, whom thou loveth, and get thee into the land of Moriah and offer him there for burnt offering upon one of the mountains, which I will tell of thee. And Abraham rose up early in the morning and saddled his ass and took two of his young men with him and Isaac, his son, and clave the wood for the burnt offering and rose up and went to the place of which God had told him. So you see now in this particular verse, this is God saying, now I'm going to try your faith. So he was not tempting Abraham to do anything wrong, but he was testing him to see if he would be proficient in his faith. See, when children get tested in school, it's for their proficiency. They're not trying to make them fail. They're just trying to see how much they know and how much they are going to believe what they receive as instruction enough to be able to be tested by it. So you see here when God told Abraham to take his own son, God could know that Abraham was going to be obedient to everything he said. So God said, I'm going to prove what you believe. And Abraham says, I'm going to believe that I can be proved because I'm going to be obedient to your word. And knowing this, that when Abraham was willing to offer up Isaac, that God says, aha, I'm able now to bring my only begotten son for there was somebody in the earth who could believe to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. And now I can't entrust my promise of Jesus Christ in the earth because I found someone willing 
to do what I've asked, my part of the covenant with them, and now I can bring heaven to earth. And that promise is still today for you. You may not know Jesus Christ as your personal savior. And you can say, I need to have Jesus Christ as my savior and my Lord. And you can invite him into your heart right now because it is the offering of your heart. Everything that you have, the good, the bad, the ugly, and allow Jesus' blood to be the sacrifice for your sin. Why don't you say this prayer? Dear Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, acknowledge that I'm a sinner and I need to be saved. Come into my heart. Be the Savior of my life. Be the Lord of my life. Come in now, right now. And I believe that old things have passed away. Behold, all things are new. All things are sure because of your covenant. Now, I want to fulfill my part of the covenant with you. So I will believe to receive the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Now, if you said that prayer, why don't you email us at info at kingsportionlive.com. That's info at kingsportionlive.com. And we will send you some encouragement along the way. Now, let's return to remaining portions of King's Portion Live after this message from our sponsor. We invite you to visit our new interactive website. Please log on to www.kingsportionlive.org. That's www.kingsportionlive.org. We believe that you will discover something that will speak to the royal blood in you. Thanks for staying tuned for the conclusion of our program today, which bears the theme, the endless covenant guarantee. What we're saying here is that God proved to Abraham that he indeed would be faithful to fulfill all of his promises to him so that it was easy for Abraham to believe every word that God said and everything that he had spoken to him became true. God simply showed himself as irresistible. Because the strength of God's covenant to us was backed by the Lord himself. Because he could not swear by any higher. Let's look in Genesis, the 24th chapter, the first verse. And it says, And Abraham was old and well stricken in age. And the Lord had blessed Abraham in all things. That's everything. Every area. Every circumstance. And no area that he was cursed. He was empowered to prosper, not empowered to fail. Now that was the effect of the endless covenant guarantee. Now let's look in Genesis, the 12th chapter, the first through the third verses. And it reads, now the Lord said unto Abram, Get thee out of the country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house into a land which I will show thee. And I'll make of thee a great nation and I'll bless thee and make thy name great and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will bless them that bless you and I will curse him that curses you. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Because what God said, he'll bring it to pass. He will never hold back on you. He would never withhold from you what he wants to give you. Well, we have to be the greatest receivers in the earth because it's easy to receive from God. We have to know this, that Abraham showed us the way because he simply believed God. So it was easy for him to receive every word that God said as the absolute truth. This is Catherine Joy Foster for King's Portion, where we speak to the royal blood in you. You have been listening to the King's Portion with radio host Catherine Joy Foster. Today's podcast is available for download. Log on to blog.kingsportionlive.com or email info at kingsportionlive.com.